most people don't realize that the Mekong, although it's referred to as Southeast Asia's largest river, it's also a river where 44% of the length of the river flows through China. The Chinese dams, three completed, the fourth one at Shawan uh, already very close to being completed, and others on the drawing board or already under construction, these are going to have a long-term effect on the Mekong. Uh, it may not be for five or ten years before that uh, effect uh, becomes significant, but it will have a significant effect, not least because it's going to alter the flow pattern of the river. Now there's the added and very significant worry that the governments in Vientiane and Phnom Penh are talking about building their own dams on the mainstream of the river, where none currently exist below China. And the really big concern there, of course, is that these will interrupt the migratory fish patterns, which play such an important part in feeding the populations of those countries in the lower Mekong Basin. The river uh, has that essential character of being the river that provides food to people who live along it. In fact, there's been a, an estimate that in, in Laos, no fewer than eight out of ten people in the total population of Laos depend on the river one way or another, whether it's for transport over short distances, for food out of the river, or for irrigation. The uh, Mekong Delta produces uh, over 51% of Vietnam's agricultural uh, contribution to Vietnam's GDP. So uh, wherever you look, certainly within what's called the Lower Mekong Basin, the region below China, the Mekong is just an essential part of life. Will it be the same river in the future if these dams go ahead on the mainstream below China? The answer is certainly no. Will it be the same river as the Chinese continue building their dams? The answer is no. So that it's now a river that uh, Unlike it was 50 years ago, its future is highly qualified.